Hello, my loves. I have your daily collective reading for October 11th, 2024. <laughs> so I pulled your cards from the original tarot. And the first card that you guys got out was the Seven of Swords. So it looks like you guys are trying to be strategic. You are trying to figure out a way to get, there's like people, situations, something that you have to be strategic and figure a way to get out of this there's like deceit around you so it's like you're remaining vigilant against deceit you're like trying to figure out what people places situations require you to be strategic okay there was somebody that made some sort of reckless hasty decisions because they lacked direction and i see here that like you're trying to like take authority for your life. You're trying to be a leader and you're trying to like assert your authority in a positive way. So it's like you're standing up for yourself. You're like taking leadership of your life because you want stability. And I see here that like you could be like going through hardship right now. You could be feeling left out in the cold. You could be isolating yourself. You could be feeling insecure right now. And they're saying that like staying in this lack mentality is going to manifest unwanted desires. So they're saying that change is necessary at this time. Okay. Right now I see out on the board, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Aries. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. And that's it. Okay. Oh, it could be some water sign too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But I see here that like you're looking at, Spirit is telling you to look at what needs to end. What endings are necessary for you to have a new beginnings? What changes do you need to put in place in order for you to go through this rebirth? Because it's causing stagnation. There's a lot of emotional baggage. There's an inability to move on. Okay. They're saying that you need to make a plan, okay? There's a need for you to like look at how you can make decisions that align with your long-term goals, okay? What people, places, situations are going to help you move forward? You know, what what people, places, situations are stable? They're saying that the world is yours to conquer, but first you're going to have to decide. You're going to have to decide make a plan, like I was saying, on what path you want to take, okay? Once you're sure, then you can move forward. So they're saying that there's a need for you to go into like contemplation here, okay? Figure out a plan, make some decisions before moving forward, okay? Because there's definitely some dissatisfaction here. And they're saying that like, it's not going to be, happiness is not going to be just, here you go. You know what I mean? It's like you're going to have to like put some action behind it, okay? So I want to see if we can figure out what's going on for you in love. What messages do you have for my collective regarding love? So you could be going through a separation at this time. If not, this is coming up. I see that time apart from your partner is on the horizon. But they're saying here to keep an open mind because you create your reality, okay? You attract love with a positive mindset, not a negative mindset, okay? We don't want to manifest from fear. We don't want to manifest from negativity, from like situations that happened to us in the past from what we don't want okay so we want to be in a loving energy you know thinking about loving things what we want what we like what makes us happy okay our desires um i see here they are the one you have already met the romantic partner that you seek okay so apparently you've already met this person okay so let's see if we can get more have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship come into fruition. Oh my God. So yeah, they are, they know whatever this is, they're working on it. So they're saying that there's patience. Things still need to come into balance in order for this situation to manifest. Okay. 
There's things behind the scenes that they are working on. So there's patience that's going to be needed. There's positive thought, faith that's going to be needed because they're saying this person is the one. They're saying that when this person comes in, don't be scarred, okay? It's safe for you to open up to this person, okay? Let your heart be seen. Don't be scared. It is safe. What else does my collective need to hear in regards to their situation? Yeah. Okay. So they're saying here that engagement, your love life is soon ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. But they're saying that there is a need for balance. Okay. They're saying here that there needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy in order for the relationship to be sustainable. Okay. So when this person comes in before this higher level commitment, you need to make sure that things are balanced. Okay. They're saying here that you need to be aware of codependency, addictive behaviors, things like that, cycles, all of that is getting in the way of your romantic life. Okay. But I see here that yes, this person is your soul me, but there's still a lot of overthinking that's going on here. I see that you share a past life with this person, okay? All right, so I want to see what else we can get. See if we can get some messages from your person. What does my collective need to hear from their person at this time? Woo! <laughs> Celebration, event, public, social gatherings. So this is coming in for you guys here. You're going to be celebrating. I see here that there's going to be a breakup or there was a breakup or there could have been a breakup with someone here. Walking away, ending, separation, it's over. I see somebody could be be watching on social media okay they're spying somebody maybe online dating somebody could be looking at pictures reminiscing somebody could be out you know talking socializing getting to know people networking i see here that there's a faded meeting here it says meant to be destiny predetermined encounter so i don't know if this is coming in for you guys or if this is something that already happened but let's see spirit what is this faded meeting about for my collective oh okay so it looks like here that you're going to be meeting up with somebody Maybe this is somebody that's going through a heartbreak or it could have been somebody that you feel disappointed you or betrayed you. Faded meeting, heartbreak, roll the dice, take a chance, leap of faith, strategy. What is this about? Okay, so snake here, deception, shady, temptation, enemy. And then love offer, engagement, agreement, agreement, which come true. Okay, so somebody's taking a leap of faith, okay, to make some sort of love offer because maybe they see you as temptation or maybe you see this person as a snake or they hurt you in some way. What is this about? Who is this person? Okay, somebody feels comfort, safety, belonging with you. They have romantic feelings. They're in love. They feel like you're their soulmate, their twin flame. They share a past life connection. Once again, there's a gut feeling here. They're following their intuition. So I don't know if maybe, I don't know where this is coming from, this heartbreak and snake. So maybe this is somebody that hurt you. I want to see if we can figure out who this person is. So I have my character deck here. Who is this person coming in for my collective? Who is this person that's coming in for my collective? Butcher, ruthless, cruelty, slaughter. So this, this is going right along with that, what was that deception snake card here? Somebody that maybe wants to repair, or they could be a repairman, restore, restart, renovate. So maybe this is someone that cut you off or they were cruel to you, okay? And now they want to come in and repair this here. This could be a leader or you could be a leader here. Master of wealth, risk. Maybe they're taking a risk and in, in investing in you here. Clown. Gesture of laughter, comedy, mask, performer. And then genius here. Bearer of gifts, extraordinarily 
extraordinary intellect, innovative mind, ex exceptional ability, and then the fool, ignorant, rashness, impulsiveness. So maybe they're taking a leap towards a leap of faith here. Who is this person that my collective is dealing with? Oh, shit. Look. Look at that. Huh. I got the bartender card coming up here, too. See if we can get one more. And then I'll get some physical characteristics. Oh, they gave you more. I have here clergy. Guardian of faith, religion, moral morality, compassion, sacred mission. And then I got the soldier card here. Guardian of nations, loyalty, honor, integrity, selfless service. I got lover, okay. Love, romance, reproduction, infinity. And then I got security guard. Patrol keeper, watchman, service provider. It's also my spy card. Let's see if we can get some physical characteristics. First card, attractive. So this person, your you, could be very attractive. Who is my collective dealing with? Who is coming towards them at this time? Twin flame showing up. Tattoos. Someone could have tattoos. Who is this person coming in for my collective? Bald. Blue eyes. Woo! bald we got blue eyes and straight hair twin flame again told you resting bitch face someone skinny card is showing here who's this coming in for my collective long hair woman Wavy hair and fluffy hair, okay? So, I want to see what's blocking you guys in love, okay? What is blocking my collective in love? What do they need to know for their highest good? What is blocking my collective in love? All right, stuck in the past. It says, let go of your ex completely so you can truly welcome new love into your life, okay? And then we got staying stuck. You keep repeating old patterns. It is time to try something new. Let's see if we can get one more. What is blocking my collective in love? Because I like things in threes. <laughs> Fated to be alone. Oh, shit, son. You gave up on love because you think you are meant to be alone. It is not true. I literally, oh, I told you, son. There's. I had a reading where I told somebody because they said that. I. You know what's so funny is I said the same thing. So, and I told that person, I said, it's not true. It's not true because I think the same way and it's not true. And that's confirmation for you, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with my collective and their career. What do they need to know for their highest good? Renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith. Breakthrough, okay? And then we got here expression. You need to you need work that lets you express your creative self. You could do well at writing, blogging, or a career in communication. And then wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. And then we got two more here. Success. The path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going. Lots of little steps take you a long way. You are on track. And then lastly, locked. Work you want may not be in reach right now. You can take a temp position while awaiting an opening. Your new place offers job security, okay? All right, so it looks like here, there's a need for you guys to recharge, okay? It, look at ways that you can create using your expression, like ways that you can express yourself creatively, like writing, blogging, communication, things like that, okay? There's some sort of mentor role that 
you're going to be ca called to go into, where you're going to be a role model or a guide, and you're going to need to show the way and use your wisdom and your experience to do so, okay? But they're saying here that success, prosperity, all that is coming. It's just going to take some steps, okay? Right now, doors may not be unlocked for you, and that's because divine timing is at play. There may be some things you need to learn, okay? There's lots of little steps, like they said, that are going to take you along the way, okay? So every time you take a step, you're going to have more information. You're going to learn more. There's more experiences. So just keep going. Don't give up, okay? Passage, I see. Your current situation is a means to an end. You are making uncertain an uncertain voyage to a new world. So enjoy discoveries as you go, okay? So like I said, this is a means to an end. Enjoy what you learn, the discoveries, the experiences that happen on your way. This is a journey, okay? You're moving into a new beginning. I don't know if you know, but there was like this big shift and a lot of people went into the 5D. Some people chose how. And this is the thing that when you create like your mind, you are trying to create, right? Your idea of heaven on earth, right? So you can choose where you want to go. So like when I was saying that people were choosing war, they were, they were following the energies of Lilith and they were choosing war as opposed to being in an energy of love, which means that there are some people that chose to be in the storm that's going on right now. They chose to identify with that storm. They chose to take on that fear, that negative mentality and not hold on to the positivity. They chose to go to war as opposed to being in an energy of love. So therefore they are choosing to create 1616 16 on the clock. They're choosing to create their version of hell. I'm not doing that. I had some shit pop off for me, okay? And I chose to alchemize that energy. I am going to take that energy and I'm going to use it to create happiness, heaven, okay? So I'm going to remain, no matter what's going on, I'm going to remain in that positive because I know that I took that shift. I made that shift to the 5D. And in the 5D, we're mastering detachment, okay? We're going to be focusing on our creations because we know that, Nothing is forever. Nothing is going to stay, whether it's love, whatever, death, something's going to come. So we can't be attached. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, okay? So it's not that we can't show love. We just have to master detachment in a healthy way. The past, something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Look to the past to understand the future, a lesson, an experience, or an old skill, okay? So what does my collective need to hear in regards to their career? What do they need to know? for their highest good slow so making slow progress but you are getting there they're saying remember slow and steady work leads to success that is sustainable when things come in 733 or 1733 on the clock when things come in fast with real a lot of passion and chaos that's how they leave okay so when things come in I have a confirmation burp. I'm fighting off for 1747. Um, so like, that's what I'm saying. Like you, when you put in hard work and you take your time and you build that foundation, that's when it's going to be sustainable, lasting. It's going to stay up for a longer period of time. Okay. There's something here that you're not seeing. Okay. There's a denial. Perhaps you're insisting that something be something other than what it is. Okay. So what are you refusing to see? It's better to live in truth than lie okay and then work smart einstein okay are you making it harder than it has to be sometimes the solutions are simple perhaps it is time to clean house personally and professionally to start with a clean palette okay so they're saying 1833 on the clock maybe you need to clear the board OK, this is where when we go through awakenings, when we go through that dark night of the soul, what they call it, like things clear and people don't realize because they don't know, like you go through isolation. It gets lonely. I went through it. There's years that I got a divorce in 2019. And after that, there was a lot of me being isolated, me not, the spirit would come in and remove everything, everything I wanted to start, friendships, relationships, everything I tried to start, they would come right in and boom, 1909 on the clock, 1911 on the clock. This is like what they do. They remove 
everything from your life and they force you to go within. They force you to go and be alone and to sit with your emotions, to sit with all the decisions, all the experiences, all the people, the places, the situations and figure out you. Come back out, totally renew. You're going to change. You're going to, your looks, everything are going to change and you're going to start embracing things and, and people are going to be looking around going, what the hell's going on with you? Are you going crazy? No, you're not going crazy. You're coming into your authentic self. You're going through an awakening okay so moving on here we got your career we got your love life let's get you some self-care what do my collective need to hear for their Woo! <laughs> shit son yeah you are born to stand out so don't try to fit in okay you are the trendsetter which you you see my morning affirmations you ever click on them bitches and hear that song trendsetter hey we just get better yup League of my own, all right? So you don't fit in. Stand in your own power and be proud of your individuality, okay? So show up, show the fuck out. Word. 2022 on the clock. All right, what else does my collective need to hear for their highest good? Exercise. Enjoy yourself. Love yourself enough to get you some exercise and enjoy that good health. Get out there and get swole like this joke. Come okay? Woo! Oh shit, son. All right, what we got? Self exploration, peel off the mask. Okay, so this is the thing. That's part of the whole, <laughs> the whole spiritual awakening. That whole persona, that whole image that you was carrying around. Get ready to drop that shit, son, because they are gonna strip you solid of all of who you used to be, who you thought you were, what you thought was cool, what people expected you to be, all of that. They're gonna remove it, okay? They're gonna make you remove it, and then you're gonna come out the true, authentic you, okay? Social media detox, yep. Because they don't want you getting any kind of 21, 22 on the clock. They don't want anybody affecting your mind right now. They want to talk to you. They want you to sit in silence. They want you to sit there and listen to what they got to say. When you sit in silence, when you turn off all the distractions and you go within, you're going to get epiphanies. There's going to be thoughts that come to you, but you need to cleanse in order to get them, okay? A lot of times, water cleanses. You're going to get in the shower. You're going to stop. You're going to let all those thoughts all that day wash away. Way, and you're going to listen to what they got to say. Okay. You're going to get epiphanies. There's going to be times where you're just sitting in nature, wherever you're going to be just totally in peace, watching the nature, watching everything that's going on around you. And you're going to get epiphanies. Okay. So there is something that you're not saying, and it's eating you up inside. They're saying that you can't keep this in forever. It is time to let it out so that you can move on and be happy. So there's something, 22, 20 on the clock. Oh shit, 22, 22 on the clock. Something that needs to be said. Spirit is pointing it out. They are literally sending angel numbers saying, say it. Just say it, okay? It's going to eat you up inside. It's going to cause disease. So don't hold things in. Speak up. If there's something you need to say, do it. There's a need for you to let your body have the peace it deserves without feeling guilty. So get some sleep, get some rest. When your body says it's tired, it's for a reason, okay? You're taking in all kinds of energies. There's all kinds of stress. You're overthinking, okay? Let's see what other messages we can get. What does my collective need to hear for their highest good? All right, so maybe you search the branches for what is only in the roots. Go deeper. Look elsewhere. You need more. So you might be searching for things on surface level. There's a need for you to go within. You might be not really looking deep within your heart, not really willing to see yourself and see the reflections, you know, see the shadows and all that. There's a need for you to go deeper. There's a need for you to research. There's a need for you to explore and go deeper, okay? Look elsewhere. You need more. Mm. It could be too, what are your desires? What are your passions? What are your, what are your, what are your situations? What are your 23, 55 on the clock? It could be love too. 
There's a need to go deeper, maybe look elsewhere. You need more. Uh, is there something that you're lacking? Look within you. Is there, Do you need more out of whatever situation you're dealing with here? And there's something here to praise the sun is to praise your own eyes. Seeing clearly, gratitude, happiness with your life, okay? So listen here. Like, thank the Lord for clarity. Thank the sun for shining light on the dark and giving you clarity. Be grateful for that because it's shining light on the things that no longer serve you so that you can change them and bring in what does, what is deeper, what you really need, okay? I am not this hair. I am not this skin. I am not this... Oh, wait, I am the soul that lives within. So I am not this hair. I am not this skin. I am the soul that lives within. Beneath the surface, looks can be deceiving. Absolutely. Absolutely. So don't be fooled by what they're showing you on the outside. Always look within. People wear masks, okay? Look at the inside. What are their actions, okay? What's your intuition telling you? Look deeper. Okay, people are not their hair, they are not the outside. Okay, let's see if we can get you a spirit animal to close out the reading. What does my collective need to hear in regards to their situation? All right, you got the elk. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowded with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. So this is just talking about, don't, don't be humble, okay? It's okay for you to be happy 2555 about your accomplishments. It's okay for you to show them. Um, but do it in a humble way that's not like a show off kind of ha ha look what I got um, kind of energy not like a competition it's not a competition you want everybody to get their happiness okay so make sure you're doing things in a, he a healthy way um, celebrating your, comp your accomplishments in a, in a humble way okay because you're gonna have a lot of success coming in for you there are some powerful forces guiding you right now okay so your ability to conquer all all these challenges is going to be like limitless they're saying you're like the elk you're about to plow through independent cats could be significant you are a natural healer your intuition is very strong right now like they were saying in the other card you don't have to go with the crowd you are the individual trendsetter like i just said in the reading earlier or in the you know earlier so they're saying that life is supporting you in every way go after what you want to do these challenges and your ability to conquer them is going to be limitless okay you're powerful right now so they're guiding you go with that okay take care